How frustrated were you that you didn't have the fight with Johnny Hendricks? Because there's a backstory between the two of you from the collegiate wrestling days. There's a fish hook and a biting incident. Can you break it down for us? Well, what happened was, and Johnny's going to tell you a different story okay. because his amnesia kicks in at times. Welcome to Omaha, Nebraska. We are at the Quest Center in Omaha for the 2005 Big 12 Wrestling Championships. Um, me and Johnny was wrestling in the Big 12 Finals. Big 12 Finals is almost more important than being an All-American itself. So it's a big deal to be the conference champ. So I was wrestling him in this match. I was at the end of the period trying to score a takedown. He decided to put two or three fingers, two or three inches deep in my mouth, and he was pulling my face away. And then he said, I bit him. And Hendricks is checking out his finger as He just Woodley, gave, a, he gave a penalty point against Woodley. I might have bit him. Think, thinking in my mind right now, if you put fingers in my mouth, I'm going to bite you. I might punch you in the face. They just gave him a point. That point changed the match. And, you know, it cost me the Big 12 title. So from that point on, I've been wanting to punch Johnny Hendricks in the face so bad. Uh, you know, it, it changed the seating. And he won an NCAA title. And I was like, that was my path to the NCAA goal. Curious how you felt, though, because the fight got canceled literally hours before weigh-ins. Let's talk about some breaking news right off the top. Johnny Hendricks had complications with his weight cut last night. Unfortunately, he is out of tomorrow night's co-main event against Tyron Woodley. Was that frustrating, especially since you've been wanting to punch this guy for so long? You know, at some point I had to forgive him, and I did. My last opponent before then, this weighed about 10 pounds. I'm like, do I have this magical spell while I'm making these guys go to <laughs> KFC? Gaston, I'm making you go to KFC, <laughs> and you can't resist it? Let me go to Wingstop and grab a 12-piece. So I didn't, I didn't understand how, how, as a professional athlete, you don't make their weight. It's not a bingo where they dig in like, oh, today it's 181. It's, it's 170, 171 every single time. I mean, I walk around 200 pounds. I'm not a light welterweight, but for me to make it, it's my job, and I did it.